Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love uh, tarot reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, Virgo, it is your weekly love reading, okay? This is an all about love reading for the Virgo friends out there. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message for Virgo, please, in love, relationship, dating, getting to know? What is the love message for you, okay? This is for the sign of Virgo. Before I start, I would like to thank you, Virgo, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Virgo, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. And to be part of our mailing list, um, the link is down in the description box below, okay? And we've got an IG account, official IG account, the correct username. It's down in the description box below. Please be careful who you connect, who you engage in other social media platform. We do not ask for donation or offer private reading. So make sure that you are following the correct account, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you. This is a weekly love reading. It's all about love energy in here. In today's reading, we will be looking at the recent past, the current energies, and the immediate future predictive outcome and advice, depending on the message for today. Um, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. Okay. You started off with the Emperor card, Virgo. You've got, um, you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, I feel like Virgo, um, you're very confused on how the person is. You're very confused on how you're dealing with it person, okay? This is a romantic energy. You're very confused. Um, it's hard for you to pick up the signal. You know, you're confused. Um, I mean, in here, you are the emperor. So you're very mature. You're very motivated. You're, you're very mature. You're very motivated. Um, you really would like to have love in your life, but you're very confused about the action of your person, you know. Sometimes they could be so friendly, cold, distant. Sometimes they call you and then sometimes they ghosted you. You're interested with someone who is very inconsistent. And look at your hands, you know. Very inconsistent. You've got the sun card. In spite of everything, even though this person is somehow giving you that hot and cold energy, when it's like on and off, you know, when it's off, it's really off. Like you don't have any idea where things is going between the two of you. But when it is on, you know, when things are ongoing between the two of you, you are the happiest, you know, it's it's something that you cannot deny with your dynamic. Like, it's such a comforting energy to have them, you know. They make you happy, as simple as that. So when they do not message to you or when they're aloof, it makes you feel like there's something missing. Yeah, moon card. I'm not reading reversals. You know, when, when they're not calling you or texting you or we're not, when this person is not their usual self, you know, this person is very sweet. You know, this very this person is very sweet. They're very caring. They really, really know your weak spot. And, you know, this is you looking at the moon, you know, your life or your day. Like they can make up your, like they made up your day. You know, like they can really make your day happy and complete. Just one person. You know, on top of that, there's like a heart in here. Yeah. Now, you've got the Page of Cups in here. I feel like for some of you right now, you're waiting for the person to call you or text you or to follow up. Because 
you know if you look at the page of cups there is a yellow in you know there's a hole so for some of you guys you're waiting them you're waiting for for them to call you you get so nervous or excited whenever this person is around yet two of cups you're in love with this person virgo you've been in love you've been in love with this person for i don't know how long but in spite of the hot and cold treatment you still feel giggly about this person you know they can really transform your day into you know if you're having a bad day when this person message you it can trans it can really you know transform your day into something wonderful like you know you can you can really say that they're the cherry on top and they're just messaging you like when this person remembers you, it just makes your day brighter you get the page of swords eight of wands yeah i feel like you're waiting for them you know this is the current energy you know from this is the last card from your past uh, page of swords i feel like virgo you're honestly waiting for the person to call you or text you okay for some of you guys if you're, you're waiting for this person to reach out you're waiting for something it's gonna happen look at that and then eight of wands uh, for some of you you need to give them a nudge if you're playing cupid playing hard to get maybe they're the last one who texted your call you you need the ball is in your court you know You've, you've got to give this person a follow-up otherwise they don't move they don't move now if they're the last one who contacted you and you're waiting for them very soon i feel like after the leo full moon pretty much this weekend um post valentine they feel cheesy you know this person feels like if they message you you know before the valentine you would expect and they don't want things to be dramatic they want their return to be as I would say they don't want to return during the Valentine's, you know, prior and days after. So it's more of the weekend, you know, this weekend that this a weekend after the after Valentine's is where I'm seeing this person eight of ones. They will take charge. Okay, um, I'm seeing you really, you know, intuitively. I feel like Virgo, you know intuitively that this person will return. You know that. Or call you or text you or follow up. They will. Eight of Wands. There's a lot of back and forth um, communication again between the two of you. And for some of you, it would... First week of March, you will see each other. You will meet with this person. Yeah. They will travel to see you or you'll meet somewhere out there. But you get to see them face to face. Okay? Now... In the current energy, you've got Ace of Swords. Um, you're thinking of an ex, you know. You know, you, you've got, you have so many opportunity to start all over again. Like you, this is you. You're looking into the past. Um, I still feel like February month up until the first two weeks of March, it, your, your romantic connection it looks like it's still coming from the past. But right after, you know, the new moon in March, because there's a new moon in March, you would be at, you would be attracting new B, new B, new, new love opportunity. Um, five of Wands, um, if, by, if by the month of March... Uh, probably mid of March, you will be traveling or you will be attending event party or maybe you're just sitting in a coffee shop. Um, but you'll bump into a friend who this friend might unexpectedly invite you. And in that event or party, uh, you will meet a new um, love opportunity. Okay, so I feel like you would still deal with someone in your past this february month you're still going to deal with past lover past romantic situation and the new love opportunity for you it's connected to i'm seeing i'm seeing airlines in here travel i'm seeing like you would go to a salon or a place where there's a lot of mirror 
or I don't know, for some of you guys, I'm really seeing you sitting in a cafe and then a, a friend will pass by and you would say, hi, hello. That friend will invite you unexpectedly and then you would attend and you would meet a new love opportunity. For some of you, look at that, two of wands. It is airport travel. It's, I don't know, from cold, maybe, I don't know, telescope is in here. So for some of you, it could be camping, uh, ice, um, you know, like, I don't know, but it looks like climbing a mountain or it looks like the window of an airplane, but it looks cold. The, you know, the lady, she has Bini, she has, I don't know, stargazing, but you're very Jew, like you're, you're very close to opening up a love opportunity is in a, is in the horizon for you, new love opportunity. I feel like these three cards in here, the current energy, is that Ace of Swords, you're solid. I mean, you're, you're solid when it comes to love. But there's part of you that's still looking into the past. And it's okay. Sometimes I feel like January, it's a very slow, um, slow burn in terms of love energy. And Feb, we're going to start to pick up again with, we're going to start to pick up again in life. I feel like 2022 will really start in February. Now you, that would be the last dance. You look at someone in the past and then you'll start to kick in with new adventure, new people, new love opportunity. Pretty much third onwards, third week of February onwards. So I'm, I'm really feeling like your new love opportunity is connected to new projects, new job, new travels. Okay. I mean, mid of Feb, I feel like you're still into the past. Now, you've got Magician card as what you don't see coming or hidden energy. Three of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you're scared to jump ship, you know. You, for some of you guys, you are in a relationship where it looks like I don't know, for some of you, I'm picking up long distance relationship. And for some of you, long term relationship that's no longer working or where you don't have a closure. Like you didn't break up, you just stopped talking. Um, and like a commitment where it's like superficial. Like nobody wants to break up or nobody wants to talk, initiate a breakup or nobody wants to give a closure. Um because if you look at this person, she can't jump into the next domino because this is broken. So I feel like, Virgo, one of the messages for you, if, if you are in a codependent relationship, if you are somehow suspended, feeling suspended because that person, I don't know, ghosted you or they haven't break, you, you, you didn't have proper closure or breakup, it's really time to, to pick up the phone and get a closure or to continue. But it's time that you initiate to get clarity of what really happened between the two of you. I really hope that you do this before the new moon. You know, you have an opportunity to give someone a follow-up and to get clarity. Because I feel like for some of you guys, this person is just waiting for you. They're still interested. The story is to be continued. This is applicable for um, long-distance codependent relationship. A relationship or a connection that doesn't have like a closure, like it's undefined. And part of you is like, I feel like there's still romantic energy. You know, like when you think of them, you don't have a closure. You still have a chance if you give them a call, a follow up, a nudge. They're still interested. They're not seeing anybody. Uh, like there's a strong reconciliation, but someone needs to make a move, you know. And then you've got the temperance card in here. This is a third party, okay? If you feel intuitively that you're dealing with someone who's so slow when it comes to replying, respondent, responding, and you feel like intuitively maybe they're dating somebody or maybe there's a third party, like they have so many excuses, they tend to reply, respond the next day. Yes, five of pentacles. It's time for you to exit or I would say not pay so much attention with this person. You're dealing with a person who is not focused because they're dating others or they've got a third party. For some of you, if you have a confirmed third party, you caught them, it's time for you to plan. It's time for an exit plan. It's time to plan an exit 
an exit. Yeah. And lastly, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is what I'm telling you guys. You've got a new love opportunity. Flower shop, you know, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get... You will start to be getting connection at work and friends as much as possible safely you know catch up because there's a lot of opportunity because ten of wands i don't know i feel like you want to hibernate but how can you meet new people person for new love opportunity if you're just staying at home yeah ace of wands i'm telling you guys there is so many love opportunity waiting for you but you are introspection so go and be seen, you know, just avoid pandemic. But you've got at least four in line with you up until June. Up until the month of June, you have four exciting person that you would potentially meet if you just put yourself out there and be seen, okay? So this is what I got for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. This is your weekly love intuitive message. I hope you like the reading. I hope you've connected with me. Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe. And if you would like to further support my channel, please do check out our setting, intention, and manifestation candle. There is one for you, Virgo. It can be customized. It looks like this, although it's much prettier because this is just a sample. This is free shipping worldwide. And the, um, the profit goes to my charity and to my team. So if you want to check it out, how to use this, it can be customized with your name. And um, the actual details is in the website. So check out the website for this. And again, thank you. I will see you very soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.